All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining. I'm here to mic check, camera check again, like always. So today we'll speak about the squad. We know we talk about the squad nearly fast time. We're not supposed to talk about the squad. But from me, we know it's enough on a possible three quarter on the channel already here. The squad from this person, but me advocate for the other quarter. Um, but we have a big name, big gun pan pan panel, a giant pan panel today. Um, and most of you all know, if you don't know us yet, um, he is none other than the great, the famous coaches ex coach Minzi. Coach Minzi, how are you? Um, I'm good, you know. Thanks for having me, military. Big up to the audience out there that continue to support. And may I tell you. No, Military put in a whole lot of work, people. So support. Don't just come on the video and watch them. Subscribe and like up the video. All yeah, right, well said. You hear that, people? You hear that? A big man I said that, you know? And I mean, say it. So, people, <laughs> we'll be discussing the reggae boy, as I said, the, the squad. the squad. And I know a lot of people have their players that they wish to see. Because that is that is it. That is the natural aspect of football. We see players. We see people who would want to see in the squad. We like who we like. And that is just how football is. Because it doesn't matter which team is selected, there will be some set of unhappy people and there will be some people happy just by not seeing some name or just by seeing some name. People, people will be unhappy about it. So we're going to get straight into it. We're not wasting the time. So as I said, as, as coaches I said a while ago, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. People in the description, the link is in the description for Coaches X channel. Please, people, go over there and show the support. I tell us, as I said, three quarters of the subscri subscribers on the channel. Um, I already know him, but for the other quarter, go over there and show some support. We can tell the people we're not, if we don't like nothing, triple treat weekend, we don't most like that. Everybody like that. I almost talk about anything in the regular boy content. So I'll we'll get straight to the, the squad, people. I'll we'll get into it right now. Um, I just have a little chat and I know that already. <laughs> All right, so this is the squad. This is the squad. Coach, we see three keeper, three, three keeper, and I don't know if you realize, but you, you switch for Alman Knight name there in front of Dwayne Miller. Mm -hmm. is, <laughs> is, that the... a, is that saying that he's the second string? <laughs> All right, JFF <laughs> just do foolishness. <laughs> just I have mean, foolishness. I, foolish said, no. I, I don't know what's happening with the rotation of the squad, mm -hmm. of the goalkeeper, sir. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we had Dylan Barnes, we had um, JD um, Dean White, and we have Dennis Taylor. And Dennis mm -hmm. Taylor just suddenly. Out, out of the team um then jadeen white is out but we understand that jadeen white is in the standby list okay just in case anything happens to um any of these goalkeepers you know? mm -hmm. amal knight did not impress me in, in in that friendly he well obviously because he has not been playing a lot he, he had an injury mm -hmm. but um, i can see where he lacked sharpness so that game probably gave, gave him a little bit of, of, of work to do Mm -hmm. And you could see where he, he could have moved uh, across quicker to, to, to save that um ball that was in positioning. Right. So um I have no problem with the goalkeepers because we know that Blake will start. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all in all, the goalkeepers seem to be, you know, being keep mixed on a up, shuffle, um, a shuffle, right, shuffle. Right, right, right. Yeah. For me, no, um, I think the the, the main reason why you see I'm on night in there, I don't know if enough people realize. He's quite good with his feet. He's really, really. I'm yes, now watching. Uh, yesterday, I'm watching. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, I'm watch, watch, watch a game. Um, I think they play Mount Pleasant. Um, he was really, really good with his feet. Really, really good. And yeah, I think that's the ball well. Yes, and you know, Paha seems to be want to build, build from the back. So I may assume that that is the sole reason why he was like a, a, a man like, because he's so good with his feet. Um, we know that um, Andre Blake is the number one keeper. Um, but in the same sense, we understand just by the selection. Of where the coach mindset is at. Mm -hmm. So we're going to the mm -hmm. defenders now. Um, a few names that we didn't expect. I won't say we didn't expect because we didn't see we haven't seen them in such a long time. And today, when I post the video, someone said, um, Ethan Pinnock, a man, just turn up when he feel like. <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. not really. No, there's mitigating circumstances around every decision that is made. And JF, there's so much things happening, JF. No one knows what is the real situation. So we have on the list Liam Moore. Adrian Marapa, Damian Lowe, Ethan Pinot, Kemar Tax Lawrence, Greg Lee, Javon Brown, and Alvas Powell. Oh, what do you see? What do you think about this um defensive lineup? I think it's it's a it's a pretty solid defensive lineup. I know some of the fans out there would not want to see a, a, an Alvas Powell back in the team, but he's there. <laughs> <laughs> but um 
Yeah, separate and apart from that, I think it's a it's a strong um squad. Um, I'm a bit concerned about Liam Moore. He hasn't played in a while, mm-hmm. and probably mentally, I don't know where his mind is because you know he has been Should having um some issues with his club. He's not training, uh, you know, just now getting a game. Right, right. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Mentally, it probably um has an effect on him. Mm-hmm. So um probably Paul Hall would have to if if he plays in the in the in the three games, which I think he will, mm-hmm. um would have to get into his mind um to ensure that you know mm-hmm. he, he he's ready for the cause. Good to see um Ethan Pinot back. Mm-hmm. It tells me something military that possible <laughs> we could have a five in the back mm-hmm. with the overlapping um wing wingers mm-hmm. and then. You you could have three at the back with Ethan Pinnock, Liam, and Damian Lowe. But yeah. it's a it's a solid defense uh, defensive setup. And I totally I, I agree with a hundred percent. Um, I could add to that that it, it gives the the coach a bit of flexibility to can transition from a back three to a back four, which whichever time if he please, even throughout the game as well. So I like that defensive um um structure that do, those players that they call up. And he called up players who are quite versatile as well. Um, Alvas Paul can play um, in numerous positions. Javian Brown, um, Greg Lee can play as a winger, wing back, or, or a left back, um, out and right. We know mm-hmm. um, Liam Moore can also facilitate in the central defensive midfield area if needs be, if, that's, if that should go on. Even Damien Lowe has that capability, but we, really, we don't really act on it. But we, we, I like that, 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 that blend that he tried to bring forward in the team. So let's get into the midfield area now. Where this is where the heavy talking point is that with the omission of Anthony Grant, but I strongly believe that there is there's a message being sent with this particular midfield setup or midfield selection. Moreover, moreover, um, in the likes of Devon Speedy Williams, Kevin Stewart, Ravel Martin, Peter Levasseur, Lamar Walker, Daniel Johnson. What do you think about this um, midfield um, 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 selection? It's a strong midfield, one CDM or out and out CDM. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what, what is the plan for these midfielders. Um, traditionally, the fans would want to see two CDMs. But Paul Hall is indicating to us that he's actually bringing something new to the fore. And we have to just wait and see um, how he's going to set up this team to get mm-hmm. the best from them in terms of capitalizing uh, uh, um, on the home situation and get the mm-hmm. three points. Yeah, agree. Um, what I, what else? What I would actually add to that is this. Um, there's one thing I particular n- identify from these set of um, midfielders. These are some high possession based type midfielders. Uh, uh, some ball handlers. Mm-hmm. Even though the likes of Lamar Walker we might want to hold on onto on the ball for too long, mm-hmm. but um, some high possession um, footballers. Devon Speedy Williams. He loves the ball. Um, Kevin Stewart. We have seen him. He loves the ball as well. Um, Ravel Morrison. Yeah. We don't have <laughs> uh, Peter Lee Vassell wants to be on the ball as well. Lamar Walker wants to be on the ball. Daniel Johnson, we know his caliber. Um, so this is telling me that this is a type of midfield that um, Paul Hall wants. Players who want to be on the ball. These are players who will be coming for the ball, fetching the ball of the mid of the different defenders, or will provide. And we 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 would say that this here would. Personally, I think that we, we don't have an issue of connectivity between defense and attack or, or the midfield. We, we should not have that issue based on how much ball handlers we have in the team. Players who want to be on the ball, players who will come and fetch. And I like that. It means that we should not have a problem progressing the ball. The continuity should be there also. I do believe, though, with the absence of Anthony Grant, we have we, we have greatly give us a, dig us, dig us a particular hole in which we might be a bit of a defensive liability without mm-hmm. the ball and we know that um the, the teams that we're going to play against are high position based team as well panama costa rica and mexico these guys hold on to the ball so we might slightly dig a hole there we know kevin stewart is here but we don't we're very much unsure of his fitness level very much unsure of, of that um so let's move to the strikers uh the attackers now where the big guns are at <laughs> Juna flemings Korberg, Giovannis, Bobby Reed, Andre Gray, Mikhail, Antonio, <laughs> Big Mike. <laughs> yeah. I call it. You Mickey. call himself. <laughs> Mick, Big Mick, Big Mickey. <laughs> yeah. So you think about um, this attacking line? I think it's a good um attacking lineup. And it 
in, in all of the, 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 the areas of the field, uh, military, I tend to see where a trend is developing and I'm seeing a story coming from all of these things. Mm-hmm. From the defense of the attack, the goalkeeper. Um, I'm seeing where Paul Hall wants to maintain the press. So he yes. selects players that are able to give him what he requires or he demands from them on the pitch. Mm-hmm. Juna Fleming's eye press. Corey Burke, <laughs> him can't Ashid. stop run. <laughs> Javon is the same thing, even yes, though man. he's we- questionable coming into this team end by product. many. We'll end product. Right, but 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 at the Work same rate, time, he's gonna he give us a that. good shift. Mm-hmm. Bobby Reed is the same thing. Andre Gray is gonna press. Mikel Antonio no is gonna press. Beef. Mm-hmm. So these players are selected based on the type of ball game that I believe that the coach wants mm-hmm. to play. I agree with you hundred percent because uh, you look at the first game against Peru. Um, we pressing on the first half, but we ran out of legs. The midfield ran out of legs in the second half and. Since the midfield runners have like they know the, the strikers are going to overwork, so the entire team just mm-hmm. deteriorate just as though the midfield deteriorate. And also, I, I, I you, you brought across some very good points in regards to the work ethic that, that we're going to get from these type of players. He went for some workman like, um, what them call heavy, heavy metal type of strikers mm-hmm. who, <laughs> who, who are going to work through the entire 90. And we, 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 will, we will need that. I think that the likes of Mikel Antonio, the closest team. The closest person on that um, attacking lineup would be Corbett in regards to the work ethic. Not saying the, the quality in regards to the end product and such, but the work ethic, Corbett is similar in regards to the work ethic. But mm. um, in the event that, you know, Mikel is trying to manage Mikel Antonio, give him a 60 minutes or 70 minutes here and there, you will see the likes of maybe a Mikel, a, a Corbett filling in that gap um, to retain that same high intensity press and all. So, um, so in, in the overall aspect, what do you what would you say about the squad on, on a balanced level and just the overall aspect of the squad? I'm a, I think it's a balanced team. Uh, I, I, um, based on what the new coach will be doing. Mm-hmm. If we look at previous teams, we're gonna be saying that it it lacks wingers, out and out wingers, and all of that. But mm-hmm. obviously, this coach is not going to go through uh go go that route. Mm-hmm. So uh, definitely, this is the reason why he picked these players. So I would say it suits what the coach wants to achieve in 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 in, in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. Well said, well, well put together. Um always bright. I'm gonna have bright man the people. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna have bright man. They say I'm gonna talk smooth and eloquent. I love it that. <laughs> but I don't know. So people, um, you, you have you have heard it here. You heard it from coaches. That people don't forget to go over and smash the like button, people, smash the like button. Um Cam Seven I'm never having names them up the banner. I'm mean, gonna have the names them up, man. So me, me know so now I'm gonna say, oh, display name. People see the name there. Go over, check over, check out the channel. The link will be in the description. The link will also be in the pinned comment section. Please go over there, people. Smash the like button. We really, really appreciate it, people. Because I don't know. All of us are doing the work. Great, great work is being done here. But try to make Jamaican football great. That, that what I try to do. When you can cuss, you have to blow cuss and laugh and go and like say a fart with a chat. But we can tell her <laughs> what we had to know will be remembered because it's off the start from somewhere. And this never go on all along. Years this never go on. And we're gonna make a change. We are here for a change. Jamaican YouTuber. But <laughs> big up people, thank you very much for tuning in. Massive respect. Please remember, smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're here for the first time. And I will see you again. Until next time, we are out, people. <laughs>